okay, so as you can see, I've got no makeup on my face because today's video is going to be a makeup kind of video, kind of-ish. Anyway, I have had this humongous box in my house, hold up, in my living room for me to open it for literally about the last month or something. Smashbox messaged me and said, Dina, we really want to send you our new collection of lipstick. And then this massive box came through. So I put it to the side till I got some time. But then what happened is, the week after that, another box packaged the exact same way came through. So now I have two of these absolutely humongous boxes. And I can only guess that they are the lipsticks. So I thought I'd open them up for you guys on camera. If this totally fails and it's not the lipsticks, then I'm not sure what this video will be. But if it is the lipsticks, then I thought a good way to swatch some of them is by using them to do a full makeup look on my face. So a little bit like the liquid lipstick only challenge, except this is lipsticks. So right now I'm opening the first box that came to me. Okay, oh my God, this is actually so exciting. Okay, it's definitely Smashbox, so it's gotta be the lipsticks because I'm not expecting anything else. <sighs> Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> oh my god. You have no idea how heavy this box is. In fact, it could probably fill up the whole screen if I just move out of the way. Yep, there it is. Hello. What a lovely box. It's like a velvety matte black. Okay. I'm... Oh my god, it really literally is all the lipsticks. Oh my Okay. Let me just count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 40, 60. Okay, there's 60 lipsticks in this box. And I'm guessing the other box. Oh my God, no, it's two layers. Oh my God, this is insane. This is the first layer, guys. And here is the other. Oh my God, this is so heavy. And oh my God, that is painful. And here's the other 60, guys. Technically, this makeup look should be very easy to do because there's literally every color here. Oh my God. And I was thinking, what mirror am I gonna use for this? There's a massive mirror in front of me to use. Oh, hi Dina, we've launched 120 brand new lipsticks. Enjoy the full selection in our fabulous collection box. It is fabulous. The full range is available now at Boots UK. Which colour to choose? Question mark. Lots of love. Team Smashbox. That is insane. Okay. Oh my god. The bottom row is like all the nudes and browns in the world. Let's open up the second box, okay? Here's box number two. Okay, let's just get into opening this because... Imagine if they sent... Oh my god, they literally sent me a second... Why have they sent me a second box? Oh my god, I think they sent me two lots by accident. Hold on, maybe what, a box of them is like matte and the other box is like not matte. I feel like I've been naughty or something. Uh, Smashbox, if you're watching this, then you sent me 240 lips. Hold on. Really? 240 lipsticks? No, no, this can't be right. What? 240? Guys, I now have two of these absolutely humongous Smashbox lipstick boxes. This is actually really exciting. Okay, guys, you know what? Let's start looking at the lipsticks and swatching them on my face in the form of a full face makeup tutorial. Let's just go for it. Okay, I'm gonna just literally guess. Let's pick up something that looks like my foundation color. Done deal shade. Let's open it up. Let's have a look at this color. Could that be a foundation shade? Potentially. No, I'm actually gonna go for the phantom shade. Phantom all over my face. And we're just gonna see what's what's going on because I've gotta do something with these lipsticks, right? So it just makes sense for me to put it all over my face. There's a bit of shimmer in this lipstick, it looks like to me. There's a little bit of shimmer. I think there's a bit of shimmer. This is gonna be such a great challenge, actually. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna look like, guys. Let's blend this, see what go on. Oh wow guys, this has a real shimmer to it. Oh wow, it's, it's like an illuminating lipstick foundation, this is. Okay, for concealer, I'm looking at the inside access color. That looks like it could work for concealer. Very pinky tone there. Not bad at all, actually. This could actually work. The only thing is guys, I am gonna have to use like a regular powder to set this if I'm gonna be able to do the rest of the face, otherwise it's just not gonna be a look really is it that is well and truly my base let's see what else we need to do <laughs> i'll look at doing my brows now i'm gonna attempt the shade press tour and it's in matte there we go it's that shade that's way too light let's have a look at warrior pose that's a much deeper brown actually working great for my brows okay 
Now I have some hope. By the way, don't get excited. I'm not doing some crazy makeup look or anything. I'm literally just gonna try and make myself, you know, presentable to go out as I would if I was just doing my face on a regular day. Yep, that'll work for me. Brows done. <laughs> I want to go for like a ready shade, a ready orange shade for what they like to say is a transition colour I believe. Picked up Juice It. There's the shade. Wow guys, lipsticks are so much easier to blend than like actual eyeshadow. I can't believe they sent me that many sids just in short. This could actually be a really good tutorial, I'm not gonna lie. Nylon Nude and put that basically all over my lids. Here it is, Nylon Nude. I should have used that for foundation, damn. You live in your land, don't you? They sent you $5,040 worth of lipsticks. Oh my god. How do you know? I just calculated it. Oh, you would do. You're such a bloke. Wow. My eyes look so creamy. It's really nice, actually. I think I need to go for like a darker browny kind of look. I'm going to pick up this shade, which is called Chestnut. <sighs> I'm going to put that on the outer corners of my eye, let's say. Along the, you know, like there. This is such a Kylie Jenner look. God, Kylie Jenner's just taken over. Kylie Jenner! You gotta say that in a Kylie Jenner voice. This is such a Kylie Jenner look. Guys, there's so many like makeup artists popping up out of the woodworks just on Instagram. And they're like makeup artists, but really, when, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, you know, they don't know what they're doing. Because like, if you book them out for like a photo shoot and stuff like that, they actually don't know what they're doing. And I was talking about this with actual makeup artists that were doing my face for the for the YouTube Made For You campaign. And you know, like actual makeup artists who have like trained and studied for years and they've been really working on their craft and like they know all the ins and out, they can do anyone's face, you know. And they're not just on trends like contouring and they're not, they don't just like follow trends and then do that really good on themselves. They can do everyone's face and they have a portfolio. They get really frustrated at, you know, Instagram makeup artists who just come out of nowhere and get booked for stuff when they literally can't do a good job because it's affecting the actual makeup artists. Obviously there's Instagram makeup artists who come out of the woodworks and are amazing, but literally anybody can be a makeup artist now. A Shavasana shade for contour. Yeah, that works for contour. <laughs> I always notice like Whenever you see like, you know, the makeup tutorials that you see like on Instagram, the really quick ones, everybody always contours the forehead the same way. And I just think, why? Because everybody has a different shape wow, forehead. you look like an idiot right now. And then I think, is that how I should be contouring mine? But my logic is, I've got a long forehead, right? So it makes sense to put dark at the top if I want to shorten it. But then I just kind of do it. And I don't really want to shorten my forehead because I like big foreheads, but I'm just doing it because that's what those tutorials tell you to do. And the overall always looks better. I suppose it's to balance out the like brown at the top and the sides as well, I don't know. So far what we've learned is lipstick for contouring blends way easier than any other contour product on the planet. By the way, these brushes that I'm using are from Slay Cosmetics. This is something that I like fell for from those Instagram tutorials as well. You know when there's like a proper disco ball going on at the end of your nose? Like I tried that for a bit and I was like, yeah, I look like that Instagram makeup, but like, it just doesn't look right. There's a disco ball on the end of your nose. Like, why does anybody, I don't understand the highlighting the tip of the your nose thing now. Cause if you think about it, like why would anybody want to highlight the end of the nose? Doesn't that just emphasize it? Like okay, we're gonna go to inside access and put that under my brows to clean it up a bit. Yep. Punked matte. Hopefully it's a black. It Oh, it's not black. It's like a charcoal-y, bluey grey. Okay, I'm going to try using that for eyeliner. See how it goes. Yeah, this isn't really working as an eyeliner, but we'll just run with it. I'm going to pick this really purpley kind of pink shade called Fan Mail. Look at it. Ooh, I'm going to put a tiny bit of that on my cheeks. I'm a dab 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 with my fingers. Found this colour called Deep. And it looks like it could be a really dark navy. Oh, it is. Could be black, but it's not, it's a navy. I'm gonna put that just on the edges. I am, I don't care, I'm just going for it. For lips, I found this shade called Coffee Run. I think I'm gonna grab that. Beautiful. 
and use it to line my lips, you know, or just like kind of like on the outer edges. Guys, you will be happy to know that I am so over getting lip fillers. I've mentioned it in quite a few of my previous videos how I'm like really thinking of getting lip fillers and I'm quite obsessed with that right now. But I never actually went and did it. And I'm glad I didn't because now I'm over it. Woohoo! I had a coffee run this morning. <laughs> it's just going to darken the edges. I found this shade called made it and it looks like a ready brown so i'm going to try that for the rest of my lips i'm going to use it like an actual lipstick Woo! oh that is the best shade on the planet i'm actually just gonna cheat a little bit i'm gonna get a liquid liner and do black liquid liner and then mascara and then i think we should stop there maybe i did my liner and i put mascara on and this is the final look i'm like slyly impressed with myself i think I could actually even add more contour, you know? But I'm not going to, but I could, but... I mean, I would totally go out like this. I really hope you guys liked this little challenge. Till next time!